QuickBooks Online 2024, Profit and Loss, Print, Save as PDF, and Create Management Reports. Get ready because we're moving on up with QuickBooks Online 2024. Here we are online in our browser, searching for QuickBooks Online Test Drive, looking for the result that has Intuit.com and the URL, choosing the United States version of the software and verifying that we're not a robot. Opening up our major financial statement reports like we do every time. Reports on the left-hand side in the favorites. We're going to be right-clicking on the balance sheet. Open link in a new tab. Right-clicking on that P&L, the profit and loss, otherwise known as the income statement. Open link in new tab. Let's go to that middle tab, closing out the hamburger and scrolling up to do the range change. Going from 01, 01, 23 tab, 12, 31, 23 tab. Run it to refresh it. We're going to tab to the right on the income statement, profit loss, P&L, close the hand boogie, change the range back to 2023, 0101-23 tab, 1231-23 tab, run it to refresh it. So we now want to think about, once again, providing these reports to, say, a client, for example. First, a word from our sponsor. Yeah, actually, we're sponsoring ourselves on this one. Because apparently the merchandisers, they don't want to be seen with us. But but that's okay, whatever. Because our merchandise is, is better than their stupid stuff anyways. Like our, trust me, I'm an accountant product line. Yeah, it's paramount that you let people know that you're an accountant. Because apparently we're among the only ones equipped with the number crunching skills to answer society's current deep, complex, and nuanced questions. If you would like a commercial free experience, consider subscribing to our website at accountinginstruction.com or accountinginstruction.thinkific.com. Similar process if you're providing reports to a supervisor in some way, shape, or form. The options, as we discussed in a prior presentation, may be to send an email, in which case you want to have the attachments to the email, most likely have a zipped attachment, making sure the email is secure. And then we could print the, the uh, reports and provide them to, although most stuff is becoming more automated these days, we can export it to Excel, but we don't typically use Excel to present the reports. However, we can use Excel to ver further customize and then uh, put all the reports on one PDF file using a PDF printer, we can export to a PDF, allowing us to then make attachments to an email, possibly with a zipped file, or put it on a cloud drive, Google Cloud, OneDrive, Dropbox, or something uh, like that. And we can add it to the management report, which is QuickBooks' nice little management report tool, helping us to get all the forms on one report. We did this on the balance sheet side of things, so we're going to do it a little bit more clear, uh, quickly here, thinking about it with the profit and loss reports. So on the balance sheet reports, we left off in a, in a prior presentation with the reports of uh, one numbers one, two, three on the balance sheet. We can't see those in QuickBooks because it starts over every time we do a new file, but we'll continue with the four, five, and six and think about the printing options related to these reports and then saving them along with the balance sheet report so we can get an idea of all the reports we might pro be providing possibly on a monthly basis, quarterly basis, or yearly basis. So let's do a similar process we did before. Let's collapse the, the information first. And I'm gonna once again call this an income statement summary report. And then I'm gonna copy that. I'll do my similar customization that I do every time up top. We're gonna to say we want no pennies without cents, bracketed numbers, red, and no headers and footers. Date, time, report, basis, go away, por favor, please. And then we're gonna say save customization, put it in a new group. I'm gonna make it then month and reports. Boom, we'll save that and there's our group. We're saving it to that group. I'm also gonna name it number, what was that, number four. So there's our number four, save it. Back to the first tab, looking at the customized report section, refreshing the page so it hopefully will populate for us. 
and there's our group and there's our report within the group that's great we don't see the one two three because they disappeared because we started the new the new company file every time and it goes away after you start thing over again let's go back on over and let's expand it now and as it is expanded then you might want like a different uh, type of report within here or you can provide this report as is as a more detailed report so we might do the vertical analysis here let's just do that we're going to hit the drop down usually you want the percent of income and so we're going to say run that one and then once again i'll change the name here so instead of an income statement summary i'm going to call it income statement vertical analysis vertical analysis and this is going to be number five i think so let's save that one save customization number five boop, boop, boop. vertical analysis save it let's check it to make sure it pulled over first tab refreshing the page and that one pulled in let's just do one more tabbing to the right horizontal analysis let's bring it back to where it was first let's get rid of this boom and then we might do a horizontal analysis or we might let's just run it by quarter let's just do that it'll be easier we'll do the quarters run that one and then i'll change the name and say this is going to be an income statement horizontal or no income statement by quarter or something like that by qt and then i'll save that one and we'll save the customization here we're going to say 6.0 boom actually i don't need the point oh i don't think just six and then save it okay so then if i go to that first tab and run the report again we can see that we have now these three reports now if we were going to provide so i'm going to close out actually the reports here because i'm going to imagine that that we have just this tab and at the end of the month, we're just going to print these out and provide them to the client in any way that we have chosen to do so. So this will be the starting point, no matter what method we use, whether that be the management reports that we can now populate with them or making PDF files to put into a cloud drive or email, uh, or if we're even going to use Excel, for example. So unfortunately, I can't right click and open this in a new tab like we can with the standard reports. So what I would do is duplicate the tab first and then open up the reports that we want to open such as the income statement change the range but we don't have to because we still have the current range here and then we can print it the printing options as they were before give us the portrait layout and it's pretty much defaulted to the best layout uh, in general so it's pretty good at that with our normal reports you're not usually going to get a report that's going to have like the columns on the right printed on another page because it has the smart page breaks and the report uh, that the smart page breaks in essence are doing that. So uh, within here, you could email it within here, but you probably don't want to email them one at a time. You'd like to email one email with all the attachments. Otherwise, it's going to get tedious. You could save it uh, as a PDF or you can print it. So clearly, if you wanted to print it, then uh, you can manually print it from a printer here. I'm going to just save it as a PDF. So I'm going to say, let's uh, save it as a PDF. I can also hit the drop down here and export to a PDF and then just say save as PDF. There it is up top. And so let's go ahead and open up my report. So over here, I have it open twice, I think. Let's open up my reports and then I'm just going to drag and drop, drag and drop so drag ah and then i pulled it into the reports and it was scared but now it likes it there it's at home with the balance sheet reports it's 4.0 or just like four so i'm going to number it so there's that one and let's do the next one tabbing to the left i'm going to right click and duplicate it pull that to the right and then we'll open up the income statement uh, the second income statement report and let's go ahead this is going to be our income statement vertical analysis i will then say that we want to uh, export to pdf save as pdf drag it into where it needs to go 
and drag ah and pulls and dropped it into the just dropped it down a thousand miles into my report here but don't worry it survived the fall because these reports are tough this is going to be a 5.0 and or five point and then i'll say then the next one is going to be one more time uno base moss right click duplicate pull it to the right and this one i'll close up the ham boogie and open up the income statement and this is going to be income statement by quarter and let's just do the same thing here so i'm going to say let's say that we're going to export as a pdf and we're going to say save as a pdf and then i'll pull that one over boom and i'll just rename that one rename right click dot number six so you can see now the numbering system having numbers on them might make it more likely that it'll be in the order that you want to present it in from this point of course you could then email it to someone attaching these to an email but we're getting a lot of reports here so it would probably be nicer to zip the file if you're doing it by email or you can possibly use a cloud drive provide these on the cloud drive like amazon OneDrive or uh, Google Cloud or, or something like that. Uh, if you were to email it, you'd have to, I would suggest zipping it like we did before. So if you put them all into a folder, right click on the folder, then you can compress to a zipped file. So I cannot attach this folder all as one folder, but I can attach the zipped file, uh, which is nice. So the next thing that we could do, if we want them on one uh, PDF, then that would be even cleaner possibly so if i go to this first page one way is that we can use the management report that we talked about before i won't do it in detail here just to give you the idea again though if i if i say that i want to duplicate this report so i don't overwrite the default and then i'm going to edit it then we can go into where our reports are located which are which are down here instead of the standard profit and loss and balance sheet i'm going to add the new reports which would be the i'm looking for this not the standard but the custom area so there's the custom report number four and then boom i'm going to add another one da -da 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 -da, and then it's going to do it and i'm going to say custom report number five boom add another one da -da -da -da, and then custom report number six and then i can delete these two delete delete and then i'll edit the name so it doesn't show as month end report so i'll just say edit and get rid of that first bit so it doesn't show on the table of contents with the month end report there unless you want it to it might not be too much of a problem talvez possibly and so we'll then remove this one and then do 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 and then we'll remove this one so there's that and so then if i was to just to check that out just what we've done thus far and we can preview it down here preview wait wait a second it removed it now what in the world let's go ahead and do this again and then i'll edit it and then get rid of this bit i think i did it on the wrong spot or something okay so okay i see what i did i was deleting it up here instead of down here so now i fixed it i think i have it now so now let's preview the report and so so now you can see it, it gives you your table of contents and to do it and it gives you your report look at the the look of it is a little bit different you can see uh in here versus uh what we had over here so so this one looks like this versus this one uh uh looks like this so there's a little bit of color in it so it's nice but it's basically the basic color scheme still uh so you can't really do too much else with the color scheme but you can get them all on one report and it's pretty easy to do that uh, once you do that a few times and it gives you a nice header page that you can use and that's great if you wanted to further adjust anything in these reports like the font or to just some of the titles of things for example 
uh, then you, you could use Excel. The next format would then be to export these reports to Excel, put them on one Excel file in different tabs, and then you can further do a little bit more ad adjusting of them and customize it even further. And we'll talk about that a little bit more uh, in a future presentation.